Guys, welcome back to Drew Tutorial and in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix hypervisor blue screen of death on your Windows 10 or Windows 11. Now guys, before I get started, I want to mention that based on the computer that you're using, different manufacturers, etc., you want to log into your BIOS first and foremost and check if you have some kind of a virtualization technology that you need to enable. This is going to be on the UFI level or somewhere there. You'll be able to find that and you want to turn this on. And depending on how you update or upgrade your computer to Windows 11, then this might be slightly different, right? So with that said, because there are so many different variations, so many different manufacturers, then I will not make a lengthy video go through all of this. And of course, I don't have all of those different manufacturers to show you here within this video. But this is going to be straightforward, something very easy that you'll be able to find and enable on your computer. Now, with that said, I'm going to share with you a command that you can easily run in order to fix this issue if you're experiencing that. Right, so how do you go about fixing this, guys? You want to ensure that you click the Windows key on your keyboard, simple type in CMD here, and you want to run the command prompt as administrator by simple right click run as administrator there, right? So just want to mention here, I am running Windows 11, but this is a Windows 10 virtual machine, so you will realize that as well, that I'm currently running the Windows 10. But as I said, it works for both Windows 10 or Windows 11, so this solution will definitely help you. So what you wanna run here, guys, I'm gonna simply write in this command here, and I will put in this within the description of this video so that you can easily get that and paste it into your computer as well, right? So basically you wanna go ahead and enter this command here, which is the BCD edit space forward slash set space hypervisor launch type space forward space auto. So once you go ahead and enter this, go ahead and hit enter there and the operation will be completed successfully. Now once this is done, guys, you wanna go ahead and ensure that you restart your computer. So as I said, once you go ahead and restart your computer, all you have to do is just go ahead and try again and this should in fact fix the issue for you. Here you have it guys, I really hope you found value within this video and if you do, don't forget to take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.